Peace, love, and blessings, everyone. I hope y'all doing fine this evening. I know y'all see what's going on. I was trying to get on here earlier. I had a, um, a lot of stuff that I was taking care of earlier, so I couldn't make my video as fast as I wanted to. But it's good that I let all the other bloggers get out here and hit y'all with it. But now I'm going to share with y'all a deeper, a much, much deeper uh, perspective and really show y'all just how deep this guy. These are chess pieces being moved. And I know y'all were looking at Duke the Jeweler and wondering why is he on this video? <laughs> Excuse me. You know, earlier in my earlier videos, I um, assumed that Duke the Jeweler was an alphabet boy um, or possibly even an informant trying to infiltrate mob ties. Nah, that w that wasn't even the case, y'all. Guess who he was affiliated with? No other than, yes, sir, Jay Z and Puffy. This is why this man was killed. See, he was trying to infiltrate and get close to uh, the the mob ties organization. They knew. Once he wasn't verified, see when you if you in Chicago, man, and you a major motherfucker, and they and especially like he was saying he was a major player. I mean, Duke the Jeweler, you selling jeweler to jewelry to some multi million dollars. What other way to infiltrate than to try to portray a jewelry, a jeweler, especially a black jeweler who we are going to try to support, but nobody verified him. None of the GDs, he was hollering, he was GD. None of the main motherfucking GDs up there verified him, man. And he's like, we really don't know who he is. Let's keep that shit 100. What's it, another ironic about Duke the Jeweler is his funeral was, was, was went very quick. He kind of just went in the wind, like, it, like, it, like he was there and gone, um, just like that. I mean, you didn't have, usually when a motherfucker like that and you a GD, you would have motherfuckers, man, I'm talking about you would have viral videos of niggas with guns and, 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 and motherfucking block parties, um, celebrations, and, and all this other shit. None of that shit went on with Duke the Jeweler. He was affiliated. See, this shit all started back then, man, with Pac. Pac didn't fuck with them niggas, man. Pac knew they were shady, he, and, and, and he didn't want to sign. The pressure was on Pac to try to sign with Puffy and Bad Boy. You from New York, sign with us. Why you fucking with them West Coast niggas? We don't really fuck with them West Coast motherfuckers like that. Pac loved the West Coast niggas, man. He loved they vibe. He loved how them niggas got down, and he loved how them niggas organized their shit. They wasn't trying to fuck niggas in their ass. They wasn't trying to suck no nigga dick. And and Pac was he liked it that. But he fucked with niggas in New York. He loved them niggas in New York. He just wasn't finna um sign his soul over to them niggas. And Puffy didn't like that. And I think it, and Haitian Jack, you know, he he was that nigga. He was a hood street, he was a street nigga, a powerful street nigga down there in New York. And he controlled a lot of shit. But once the feds um got hold of him, Puffy took that next level up, okay? And then Jay-Z. Jay-Z had to get in position, okay? Because Dame Dash still had that power. But once Jay-Z snaked Dame Dash, man, and got in that position, it was over. Them niggas had that power. They had that influence. Now, they did not. One thing they could not get was that street influence, that street position. They wanted that. They couldn't get it. Now, they had it in the industry, which is everything. If you control the industry, man, you control everything, okay? Because that's what motherfuckers trying to get. And that's what Jay-Z and Puff Daddy control. They control 70. Nothing less. Y'all got to understand. What I, they control 70% of what went on in the rap industry, okay? So if you was trying to get famous, you guess who y'all had to go through? If you had a hot artist and you wanted that artist to get that buzz, guess who y'all had to go through? They can blackball you, they can cut your shit off, or they can send you to where you needed to be. So that's one of the reasons why Puffy was running around here arrogant, cocky, narcissistic as he was, because he had that power and that influence, man. 
And these bitches were sucking up to that shit. These niggas had to respect it because they need, they knew if they crossed him, he could end everything they wanted to do. But still, it was a lot of motherfuckers that did not want to fuck with him. And Maya was coming out. Maya was like, man, I, I just went with none of that. I didn't like them niggas' vibe. And I just said, fuck it. I just rather, you know what I'm saying? I'd rather just not have a record deal than to deal with them niggas. I watched her interview and was like, wow. She, I, and I, I applaud her for being a, a strong woman and speaking out. Okay? All this shit is starting to come out. It's snowballing on their ass. Okay? But let me let me kind of go get back to what I'm trying to share with you guys. These are chess moves being moved, okay? Puff Daddy was fucking up. These niggas um, um, know how to play the game, okay? When you fucking with real bosses, real motherfucking niggas, okay? Real niggas, you gonna di di niggas gonna move these chess pieces. And you got motherfuckers that's bosses and players and pimps, okay? Real motherfucking play and pimps who know how to play this motherfucking game. You're going to have to deal with what, and, and these niggas knew that. Puffy and Jay-Z knew that, but they, they didn't play the game accordingly, okay? Okay, Jay-Z is from New York. He was raised, bred, born New York. Beyonce is South. She's Southern, okay? She's Southern. It's a video out here, y'all, of, 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 of her and then Pimp C, Pimp C tearing that pussy up, and, and they saying Beyonce was a freak. They saying she, that video, y'all have to go back and watch that Pimp and Ken um, interview. And it's, it's kind of ironic that Pimp and Ken came out with this kind of story right now. All of these is chess moves. All of this shit is doing and, and is, is being done purposely, y'all. These some real motherfucking bosses making boss moves, okay? Y'all, when y'all, Puffy and Jay-Z, when y'all made that move to, to send them feds on my niggas, Dame Dad, Suge Knight, Irv Gotti, uh, 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 um, Jay Prince, and Russell Simmons, y'all fucked up, okay? Eventually, y'all got to deal with the Piper, okay? Them niggas sent all kind of bitches. A lot of them females, y'all. And I was looking this shit up. Y'all have to do it yourself. I, I'm trying. I'm waiting to try to get all or everything that I need in order for me to put the real shit out here, man. Um, I'm hoping to, man. I'm hoping to meet somebody that'll bless me so I can get the equipment that I need, man. So I can really format this shit and put it out here for y'all. But a lot of the women that P Puffy was dealing with, man. These was women sent on sick on their ass by pimps and players, okay? They, a lot of the women, like like Jay-Z, he fucking with Beyonce. Man, that's, who, who bitch you think Beyonce is? My nigga, that's, that's Houston. That's, southern, that's a southern bitch. You think she gonna, she gonna stay true to her roots, my nigga? I don't give a fuck how rich you is. She gonna stay true to her roots. Okay, and this shit is is devastating to Jay Z. It's devastating to him, but ain't really nothing that man could do about it. You know what I'm saying? The uh, the shit is so beautiful. If if I'm sitting back and I'm watching this and and I'm I'm a boss and I'm 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 a, a gatekeeper and I've been going to war with these niggas, I'm sitting back and smiling now. See, y'all was smiling when y'all sent them feds on us and stopped us from getting that distribution deal. But how you feel now? The feds on y'all ass. How I feel I had them motherfuckers on y'all now. Oh man, the shit is, you know, a lot of people were saying, but this was, this was, these were chess pieces. Okay. A lot of people were saying that Laura London was puffy bitch. You know what I'm saying? And then, and that everything she was doing with Nipsey, she was still reporting back to puffy. Puffy controlled a lot of shit and I wouldn't second guess that. But it, it, these cats was going at each other, man. They were going at each other. Chess pieces was being moved. Motherfuck this right here was a major chess move, and it caused a lot, of, well, what we say, a domino effect. But Duke the Jeweler, y'all, was associated with Jay-Z and Puff Daddy. I'm going to try to put some information out here to back that up to show y'all, okay? But the, they've been going back and forth, man. They've been going back, and you you don't see no pictures. You don't see you you will find no photos 
of Jay Prince or any other uh, mogul from the South with Jay-Z or Puffy with since since 2004. I think that was the last picture that they took with 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 other rap moguls. Man, this this been an ongoing war, okay, for a very long time. Empire uh, um opened the gates and, op and offered an opportunity for the for the artist to be independent. Now, that was smart because guess what? Empire still going to get rich. If they offer you a distribution, or offer you an independent deal, they just want a percentage. You think about that, man. You signing up like Young Dolph. Young Dolph was major. Young Dolph was doing platinum albums. So if you sign some, you you sign him to an independent deal, and you getting a percentage of that, man. You you still winning. How? I mean, how you losing? See. Jay Z and Puffy did not want to cooperate with that. They didn't want to. They want to control everything, and that's got them in the bubble that they in now. But y'all, what I'm trying to tell y'all is this: this shit is finna hit the fan. Okay, Jay Z is gonna come up next. It's not probably gonna be anytime soon because Jay Z is um, he's he he's still connected, and he still got a lot of people in high places that's watching over him. But um, if y'all know who Sloan Bella is, she's a very known, well-known um, uh, medium. Check her out on YouTube. Um, I'll try to put um, put her her um, link down in the description. But Sloan Bella has been hitting a lot of stuff on head, man, and she's really been confirming some things that I've been saying on my videos even before I start watching Sloan. She is on top of it and may God bless her and continue to cover her because she's been exposing their ass, man. She has been exposing them. But now the, the shit is hitting the fan. I know they, listen, man, they smiled and giggled and laughed when they, when the feds um, raided and, and, and destroyed everything that Irv Gotti, Suge Knight, Russell Simmons, um, um, Jay Prince and, 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 Th th those guys, man, Dame Dash, when they destroyed them, them guys sat back and laughed, crossed their legs and sipped their tea, and and then looked at men shake their booty. But now, but now, guess what? The, the 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 tables have turned majorly, majorly, and 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 Cassie, she's gone. You man, listen, man, it's over for your boy Puffy. If you're a Puffy fan, it's over for him. You know, I see a lot of people on my Facebook, a lot of women that's supporting him. Like, oh, man, they just trying to railroad this man. No, nah, no. Nah. Even Jay-Z. Jay-Z railroaded R. Kelly. R. Kelly, now, I'm going to tell you all about the R. Kelly and Jay-Z situation. Jay-Z, R. Kelly refused to uh, really to, 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 to indulge in what Jay-Z was. I see, uh, Jay-Z wanted him to... Uh, basically, uh, he wanted him to connect with him, but he wanted to, he wanted R. Kelly to, to, to sell, basically sell his soul. Okay. Um, it's the words I'm looking for as far as with Jay-Z, they fell out over some other stuff concerning, um, um, um money, finances, and power because R. Kelly had a lot of power and a lot of influence over at uh, at Def Jam Records, okay, which is uh, Def Jam and Jive, which is uh, controlled by right now Jay Z, okay. But uh, Jay Z wanted R. Kelly out of the way, man, because R. Kelly was still very, very powerful and influential, and he had a lot of say in what goes went went on in Def Jam. OK, um, he had uh, um, Jay-Z had to have him removed in order for him to move the way he wanted to move. Jay -Z, um, R. Kelly's uh, incarceration was orchestrated by Jay-Z. That's the only reason this brother is sitting behind. Jay ain't got nothing to do with him having sex with underage women. It's had to, it has more to do with um, Jay-Z wanting full control and power. And he couldn't. He really didn't have that with R. Kelly there. 
everybody looked to R. Kelly. Everybody ran to R. Kelly, man, because R. Kelly was the, he was that motherfucking nigga in Def Jam, okay? He was. He they just said, ain't no other way to say it. He was that man, and Jay-Z really didn't like that, and he had to have him out the way. But this, these, these were major chess moves being played, man. Um, right now, y'all are seeing the evidence of it. Um, Puffy, he's finna go through. Puffy done. He's cooked. It's over for him. Um, um, but Jay-Z, he's gonna be next. I think within the next couple of years, um, I think Sloan Bella said within 2027, you're gonna start seeing, um, him really crumbling. She said it's starting now. Go over to Sloan Bella and watch her reading on Jay-Z. It's, it's really deep and it's interesting. Um, but again, y'all, I wanted to come on here and, and kind of just show y'all a little bit and share with y'all what's really going on behind the scenes. This is chess pieces being moved. So now what's going to happen once Jay-Z and Puff Daddy is out of the way? And once that power, what's going to happen? Now majority of the power moves to the South. Everybody got to start hollering at the South right now. Everybody got to start hollering at, guess who? You guessed it, mob ties. Mob ties, man, right now is finna start running shit. Whether y'all like it or not, they are finna start running and controlling shit, which is really where it should have been to begin with because these are real niggas. You ain't gotta you ain't gotta suck no dick. You ain't gotta get fucked in your ass to fuck with these niggas. You just gotta be some loyal, dedicated niggas. Okay? That's it. You loyal, you dedicated, and you understand what, what where you at in this game, and you'll be fine. Follow the rules, don't break the rules, and you'll be fine. Get your money, take care of your family, and you'll be all right. That's a whole different um um aura and energy from these niggas, from these fuck niggas who want to fuck you, who want to have you fuck trainees, videotape you while you're drunk, um, 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 drug you, have you fuck trainees, and have that hanging over your head so you don't get jump out of bounds. All this old weak-ass bo demonic bullshit, okay? It's, it's not with them. So right now, man, I, I got another video. I'm up kind of early. Uh, but I'm finna, I'm finna lay it down. I wanted to share that with you guys. There's much more to come. Um, but this is just a little bit of what I'm trying to explain to y'all about what's really going on behind the scenes, y'all. And it's much, much deeper than what y'all think, okay? And all this, the feds fucking with Puffy, they just they letting you know. Man, listen, the, the, this uh, Yo Gotti, his brother being killed, Young Dolph, all of this shit is tied in, y'all. All of this shit tied in. Y'all got to understand, the feds are not going to raid your house with officers with high-powered rifles. If this is not, see, they're considered violent, powerful criminals. That's why they came the way they came. Okay, if this was just a civil, a civil, a civil thing or a federal um regarding money or possessions, they would have just came that way like they did um, Red Fox. They didn't come with guns. They came, knocked on his door and said, hi, how are you doing? We coming in to confiscate this shit. No, nah, they came with guns because they know who, who Puffy is and he has the potential to be violent and be dangerous. So they came to protect themselves, okay? This, 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 y'all finna start seeing a lot of shit on why, and I told y'all this in my videos. Y'all gotta go back and give me my flowers, okay? But again, I'm gonna call it a night, man. I'm gonna come out with another video real soon. Um, y'all keep me in prayer as I will with y'all. Love, peace, and blessings. And remember this, y'all. Truth is always stranger than, pe than fiction. Love, peace, and blessings.